so let us have a look at the topic which is blue bugging so uh, you know something from the figure you can uh, you can figure out that you know it is something related to hacking and you know some kind of cyber crime is going on let's have a look what blue bugging is exactly so basically this uh, thing was in news because andhra pradesh uh, police police has asked people to be wary of blue bugging but what exactly is blue bugging so blue bugging is a hacking technique in which bluetooth is used to hack your data to you know find out uh, your private data and steal it and maybe you know uh, go for the selling purpose as well so basically it allows the individuals to access a device with a discoverable bluetooth connection all right if you have a discoverable a discoverable bluetooth, bluetooth connection then someone who knows how to do blue bugging can enter your phone and can get your data right so first of all let us the basic concept over here would be what is a bluetooth how does it function and everything right so bluetooth we will understand the most basic things only which will be required from the exams perspective so bluetooth basically works on the system of radio waves all right we have a entire spectrum of uh, uh, waves right light waves so in this one of the thing is radio waves and bluetooth you know generally works in within the meter within the range of 1 to 100 meter only so 100 meter is like far fetched high frequency I mean, you know high strength bluetooth devices can only work at this range so that is what what it is you know in bluetooth you would understand that you need to keep the devices close by right then only things will get transferred so basic uh, basic thing most important thing is that it works on the uh, sh uh, short wavelength ultra high frequency radio wavelength right that is what we have to understand so now first of all let us understand what is uh, what is blue bugging so blue bugging in which you can hack the thing with the help of bluetooth right then you can take the full control so that is the amount of you know capacity of this particular system you can take full control of the other person's uh, mobile phone or laptop or tablet whatever it is right you can read and send messages all the private stuff can be gone your passwords your photos you know your documents whatever is there can be hacked and accessed by the uh, person who is there behind the this particular thing right with a victim's phone book uh, can be there so all these things can happen right so uh, and you know these kind of attacks are increasing why because you know we have a lot of smartphones and lot of smart devices all around us and we have the system of bluetooth and everything uh, because of which these devices are becoming vulnerable right so now let us have a look at the limitations of blue bugging see bluetooth i told you has a particular range in which it will function isn't it so i told you that it functions you know mostly in the range of 1 to 100 meter right 100 meter is also the you know, extreme thing so basically range is limited they cannot do it sitting some in some other country right so uh, bl uh, bluetooth or blue bag uh, blue bugging can be done only uh, by being near to that particular person right and how can we prevent this particular attack first of all we need to keep our bluetooths off right at most of the time whenever they are not required right that is number one right we can we can put the bluetooth as off second one would be that even if the bluetooth is on uh we can you know make our bluetooth undiscoverable only when we want to transfer only when we want to connect to someone we know we can make it discoverable right and then you know some kind of software updates antiviruses all those things can be there in our phone so that is the way to protect it that's as simple as that yeah let's move on so there are two other terms which are related to uh blue bugging right you know something related to bluetooth and these kind of harmful attacks cyber attacks which is given over here one is the blue jacking and other is the blue snarfing okay so let's have a look at what these terms make very simple uh, these both are hacking techniques right which you know exploit the uh, system in the bluetooth enabled devices all right so what is blue jacking it is a prank kind of a thing right prank device owner it is to prank the device owner harmless messages are sent just to you know uh, frustrate the other person maybe you know put lot of ads there you know you know show some kind of things that we want to show them so this is uh, sort of a prank there is no uh, stealing of the data there is no uh, this thing but yes you will get frustrated because of this particular blue jacking right so these things can be asked in your prelims examination in terms of match the following isn't it what is blue jacking what is blue bugging what is blue snarfing and all those things can be asked in terms of uh, match the following things right let's have a look at blue snarfing what is blue snarfing in which you know without the owner's permission right you can download the sensitive data such as the phone books messages images and all those things so so, so it is very similar to blue bugging right but then you will not matlab the owner will not understand that when that particular uh, bluetooth is getting connected and it is stealing our information okay there is one more thing uh, which is known as juice jacking okay very similar to bluetooth only but here the usb chargers or the usb port is being used to hack your system 
right so we have so many usb ports while we go into the metro or you know when we go into the uh, airports and these public places where usb charging ports are available there these incidences are most common right so they will have some kind of system through which whenever you will plug in your usb your data will get uh, immediately transferred to the other person's server so this is where you know exploiting it with the help of usb charging ports all right so that's there for the blue bugging and blue jacking right so just like these there are several other terms which are related to hacking and cyber crime so we can have a look at that man in the middle attack in this you know uh, our so a system of a software in in between will be used to you know transfer your data to the other person's or the other person's server or other person's device right then we have skimming operations right skimming is again stealing the data but then uh, it can be rfid is is skimming or it can be nfc skim uh, skimming right these things can be there then we have the phishing and the smsing and wishing so these things are there you know again stealing the data right they in in phishing the other person will tempt you or you know you might force you or you know might trap you to click on you know it can trap you to click on the links which are malicious in nature okay they will be malicious in nature right so with uh, phishing will be maybe through the help of website you might get a email which is compromised all right you might get a email and you may click on that particular link and all your data and everything might get transferred that can be one way then through an sms you might get a link you might get some kind of a uh, uh, a link to click uh, through with the help of sms then it will be this right wishing would be you know through a uh, through voice so someone will call you it will feel like you know some uh, they are calling from some kind of call center or something and then they might you know tempt you to share your otp or any of your sensitive stuff over there so these things are also related to uh, hacking and cyber crime purposes right then what can be the steps taken by india what are the steps taken by india to prevent cyber crime in general so these points can be useful from the mains perspective in mains you might get a question that what india is doing to prevent cyber crime to make our country more and more cyber proof cyber attack proof isn't it so they are first of all we have a system known as uh, computer emergency response team which is very important so as soon as some kind of government you know big uh, let's say industry or some kind of a department or you know let's say the nuclear power plant plant power grids all those get compromised there is a team which is going russian which will russian and you know take uh, take care of the system right then we have the information technology act under which you can give the punishments right related to hacking and such kind of cyber crimes we need a law right so we have a law we have a team right then we have a cyber surakshit bharat campaign this is a awareness campaign so we need people to be aware about how to handle how to be you know safe in this particular digital world right so we have a awareness campaign for the people right then we have a policy from the government side we have a policy national uh, cyber security policy in this you know government gives guidelines or you know sets the uh, tone sets the vision to protect india from cyber attacks right how the banks have to function how the government officials have to function how the government departments have to function what kind of data changes what kind of data sharing has to be done right all those things are there in this particular policy you need to go and read this particular policy it's very important right then we have national critical information infrastructure protection center again another you know data analysis and investigation center and everything wherein as soon as some kind of uh, event is happening they will gather lot of data and you know uh, try to understand who is behind this particular attack what can be done to prevent such kind of attacks in the future so it's kind of an analysis center right then we have the cyber swachhta kendra so here whosoever is affected you know it's it's mostly a bot uh, botnet cleaning and marvel analysis center so whenever your computer or your or your mobile phone or anything is getting impacted because of such kind of cyber attacks you can go to them and you know uh, uh, get help uh, uh, related to that particular device so all these steps which are taken by india to prevent such kind of cyber attacks and make our country cyber proof right so that's uh, the thing uh, it's a very important topic from the mains perspective as well as the prelims perspective we need to know various things in this particular topic that we talk about.